Wait, what? Hey everyone, welcome to today's video and today I was thinking of doing more of a what's in my pencil case type of video even though this is not exactly my type of video but what's happened is like I've seen so many of these videos go like viral not exactly viral but you get the point so I'm just gonna try it out for myself and see what happens let's go so this is my pencil case I've had it for quite a while now if I'm not wrong since I was eight and it's held with me so long i really love it it's green it has these stripes i love it and i also i love that it's so squishy like so cool anyway let's open it and see what's inside shall we okay so the first thing we have over here are two tubi pencils they're from stadler forgive me if i read that wrong anyway they're pencils they held up with me for a good two years, so that's cool. And one thing I really like about them is that they have this little eraser at the back, which actually works pretty well. So that's good. Now let's give them a swatch, shall we? Nice, clean, and bold lines. What more could you have expected? I like my old fashioned pencils a lot. Anyway, Moving on, and now we come to my mechanical pencil. This is a Pilot Rexgrip 0.5mm mechanical pencil, and this one I've had for the last 4 or 5 years, and it's still working and it holds its shape pretty well, so I'm really happy with it right now. And that's it, so let's test it out, shall we? Mechanical pencils were a gift to this world, I'm telling you. Anyway, moving on. Another mechanical pencil. This one was a gift from a teacher and I have no idea where it was. But one thing I find really interesting about it is the lead. It's really thick, if you can see. I don't really know how thick it is. Maybe I would estimate 1mm. And... Another cool thing is that the lead is so thick you can sharpen the pencil. I'm not exactly going to sharpen it now, but the idea is you take off the back cap and stick it on the front and you get it. Anyway, let's swatch this one. This one's super fun to write with. Yeah, I love it a lot. So thank you to the teacher who gave it to me. Thanks very much. Anyway, moving on. So now we're moving on to pens. This is my Zebra Sarasa Clip 0.5 in blue. Just listen to the clicks. Let's swatch this now. This pen writes quite smoothly, decently smoothly actually, which makes it really good for everyday writing. So I actually have two other pens that are similar to this. First off, we have this green, same 0.5. 7 pen and i feel that the 0.7 refill actually writes smoother however i don't really like writing in 0.7 mm i just feel it's a bit thick and then we have this muji pen which i use sarasa refills in because it's honestly just easier and the clicking the clicking mm, 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 mm. anyway let's watch this this pen is actually in navy blue because I just really love that color and this is the pen I actually use more often for writing so those are my pens moving on next we have a ruler this one is by Shermate and a CM and inches pretty standard for a ruler so now we're just gonna test it out to see how straight it is i guess no that came out all wrong why did that why does that sound wrong anyway i will be using my favorite pen to test it and it looks straight yeah that came out wrong too anyway moving on 
Really cool eraser time. This is an eraser. I don't know where it's from. I got it a few years ago and what's cool about it is it's like a mechanical eraser which means it has like a eraser refill and you can like click it out and you can hold it like a pen and that's really cool and it erases here let me show you how it erases no wait why is it not erasing that darn okay okay let's erase something else like let's erase my, my mechanical pencil and there it's erased it it might be hard to see but yeah uh, part of the marking is gone so it works like eraser should anyway that's it moving on highlighters these are stabilos swing cool highlighters as you can see over there and i actually have one in pink and so let's test this one out nice vibrant colors love them for highlighting and i have another one here in yellow so let's test this one out too and again it's a nice vibrant color great for highlighting but one of the biggest tests about highlighters is whether it will make a pen bleed so let's test that out i have a feeling it will so the pink one definitely did i have faith in you yellow highlighter less it bled less i am so happy yay rejoice i don't sound happy uh, I, yeah i tried to zoom in and i failed anyway moving on i have more pens here and this one is let me check a pilot super gel 0 0.7 pen this one is really good it's actually really good um let's watch it it's nice and thick so as i said it's not my favorite to like draw using thick mark with pens but i mean this one's okay actually i actually had another one but if you can see this one actually kind of broke the little ball at the end came out which was just devastating for me i i develop emotional connections with my pens for some reason because i have an issue but anyway that's sad one for it it doesn't work anyway moving on <laughs> a very green cased ballpoint pen no idea where it's from but it has a very big brand logo on it so probably from a giveaway or something anyway let's test it out it is not working properly for some reason i used this a lot last year but i think ever since it's kind of been dying on me anyway it works decently but it's a ballpoint pen so i mean it's a ballpoint pen anyway moving on correction tape this is a pop basic eight meters by five millimeter sliding correction tape it's not gonna focus is it Oh well, let's test it out. It works, like I would expect correction tape too. One thing I like about it is that when you rub on it, it doesn't uh, flake or peel off like some correction tape does often. And another thing is that I dropped this one too many times and hence the mechanism to click it in place kind of broke. And hence we end up with this falling apart thingy but it's okay anyway moving on we have a normal eraser it's from pop basic and it's like a traditional eraser it is square it was square at some point of time no it was a rectangle no anyway let's test if it works it it works it's an eraser cool cool but you can see that the paper starting to crumple anyway that's my eraser moving on we have why is this even in my pencil case moving on we have a thermometer again why is this in my pencil case weird oh i also didn't have a cap for some reason i think i broke the cap but anyway we have to test if it works it works okay cool moving on we have my apple pencil i don't know why i store this in my pencil case i probably shouldn't and this is the first gen apple pencil from apple this is not an apple ad but 
it's on Apple Ad actually. Uh, I'm going to swatch this out on my iPad because I'm so smart. So my Apple Pencil actually pairs to my iPad using Bluetooth. So it can detect when the Apple Pencil is touching it. And I'm just using the Apple Notes app right now. And it's actually pretty functional. Um, it, it's free too, so that's a bonus. And now I'm just going to use this time to conveniently show you a couple of tricks. Here, for example, if you do a circle and hold it, it becomes a perfect circle. Same for a square. Square, hold it. Perfect square. I love that trick. It does the same thing for a line, which is also really cool. So those are some of my favorite tips. Also, just like look at the little back. The back like clicks off and clicks back on, which isn't supposed to be satisfying, but it is. But anyway, this has become too much of an Apple ad to buy. Look at my setup, guys. Look at my setup, like seriously. Oops. Oh, geez, this pencil case is actually surprisingly heavy. Ouch. Also, if you guys were under an impression that I had a beautiful bullet journal like this, think again. It's actually just a home of diary and it looks more like that. Like, look at that. That's not a bullet journal. You.